Hi everyone, this is Gail Julie Makes. I hope you're all doing well. Here with another video and I had such a great response when I put up my alcohol ink background to use with Lavinia stamps uh, recently. And what I wanted to do was make another tutorial which was focusing on the colours blue and yellow in support of Ukraine. And the lovely people at Lavinia stamps very kindly, well the Lavinia helpers reached out to me and said that um, they would give me permission to sort of start a, um, a flurry of blue and yellow on their Facebook page. So I posted my um, pictures from my tutorial up on there and I've had quite a good response to that. So what I wanted to do was share my tutorial for it with you today. So I'm going to um, show you the background. I'm also going to do a separate video with a stamping as well. So if you want to see how I did my finished piece, then look out for the next part to this coming along very soon. And so what I'm going to do, um, I luckily I found some new Upo. I thought I was going to have to use that use sheet, but I found some new Upo here. And um, I'm going to do a bit of the flooding technique, which is where we lay a stencil down and we can um, sort of flood the um, ink through the stencil and then dry it off. Flooding technique is usually with sort of flooding your um, canvas or paper with the blending solution first. Now, I do do this for part of the video. Some of it, I just put my alcohol ink straight down. So I'll go through it um, step by step. And I've got a, a Lavinia stencil here that I've cut down. I'm, I know some people don't like doing it, but I've actually cut down, uh, cut the edges off the stencil. So it, it makes it easier to sort of lay it down and not have those harsh edges. And I've got my blending solution ready. Let's just get these up. I've also, so I'll go through the colours actually. I've got um, Lavinia Harvest Yellow. I've got the Lavinia Forever White, just in case we want to use that one. I've got Ranger Monsoon. I've got Ranger Peach Bellini for a slight variation on the yellow. And I've got Paul. I'm also going to be using two blending tools. I've got a round one there and a, and a rectangular one and um, some different pads for those and I'm going to bring in some lifting as well because we'll need that to lift our, um, or pull our print from onto some multifarious card later and hopefully these are the stamps that I was thinking about using so I've got um, Freya uh, so I like the idea of her shining a light and I've got the mini lamp to do that and then I've got the um, seasonal tree which I haven't used yet okay so I'm going to lay down my harvest yellow and what I'm going to do is place a bit of that in the middle um, like I did in my previous one I want like a, a light middle so focal point for the fairy and what I'm going to do is not the best pads but I'm going to just blend that if we think that's too thick we can add some, add some of the blending solution and if it's too bright maybe and we can just start to work with that I can also add some lift ink on the end of my pad now this has got a bit of a yellow tinge but it's fine and if I do very sort of spaced out blobs of the alcohol lifting it should give me some interesting cells i'm just working that round so it will basically you know it will give us some cells around the edge but also we can move some of that ink we've picked up back into the middle there as you can see it's bringing some back in now you can also use the blending solution on the end of your um, blending tool for similar effects. It will, you know, move it around and give you cells. But you can see it's starting to form those bigger cells there. Look, if I do a few more around the edge. And we can just blend it out a little bit as well, like that. Okay. Until you're happy with it. I like some of these sort of like slightly darker tones. I'm just going to bring it up, try and balance it out across there, look. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that at the moment as it is. Just get a bit more colour in that bit there. Okay, so that will be sort of like the focal point for our fairy. In fact, I may just take it out a little bit 
just add a little bit more yellow up here as if that's going to be where the light there's more light emitting and then we'll get a bit more of the quite like the way that's pulling actually so there we go we'll have it quite like that circular bit there okay i'm going to leave it like that then for now i hope you can see this all right guys i'll just zoom in a little bit more for you Okay, so, so that's our initial bit there, and then what I want to do is, I'm just going to turn it around guys, just this way, I want to bring in some of my stencil for some of those sort of bluish colours around the edge, so what I'm going to do is add some blending solution, just sort of flooding the UPO a little bit initially, okay, I'm going to start adding a little bit of that around the edge. And then what I'm going to do is lay a bit of the blue down. So I think we'll start with Monsoon. In fact, yeah, we'll start with this one a little bit. It's quite dark. And I really want to lighten that up. So you can see that's a lovely colour look. And because we've already got some blending solution on there, it's sort of starting to move in different ways to the yellow how the yellow did so what i'm going to do is just let's get a different color pad on here i don't want to lose all of this yellow so i'm just going to pair that back a bit and what i'm going to do is um just sort of dab this down a bit to stop it i haven't put anything on this pad i'm just dabbing it down so i think i'm going to get a little bit more yellow back in here okay Obviously, you know, if we've got the yellow, we may get some green tinges coming through, which I want to try and avoid if I can. I don't want too many green tinges in there. And then what I'm going to do is use my original, go back in with the lift ink. If we do get some green in there, though, it's fine. Okay, so I'm just, um, yeah, there we go. We've kind of got a bit of that blue incorporated. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, so that's, that I'm quite liking that effect, actually, how it's sort of pulled there. We'll just keep doing this and just keep going back to sort out the yellow, I think. So I'm going to get some more pull around these bits. And we'll go back in with the blending solution. Okay. And obviously I do want some circular areas like these. So again, let's, uh, I'm just tilting it so I'm not going too much into the yellow again. And obviously we can move it around like this as well. Just to get it, get it to those different areas we want to. And then I'm going to swap back over my, actually let's get a little bit down here. So we don't have to keep swapping quite so much with our blending tool. And again, I don't really want too much of that green coming through. Purely because I'm trying to keep those yellow and blue colours for Ukraine. So, <laughs> it's misbehaving. Okay, so I'm putting some lift ink back on here. I'm going to get some of those more mottled areas, which I like. Let's just see if I can get a bit more of this yellow back in. And you can get, that's looking quite interesting. I quite like that, actually. So I think what I'll do is I will... Uh, just tamper down these bits a little bit and try and leave that bit in. I quite like that. Right, so we're getting somewhere. Now what I wanted to do next is I wanted to lay down, this is obviously just one half of the picture. Let's just move it down a bit for you guys. 
So what I wanted to do was lay down some of the stenciling. And I don't want to catch all the areas, so I'm just going to sort of tilt it a little bit and press it on. I don't want to catch too much of this area. And then I'm going to go in, actually, let's, uh, let's open my lid first. Try and get your, your supplies ready before you need to use one hand to do something with. Um, and I'm going to tilt it a little bit and I'm going to start adding that pool colour through the stencil. Okay. Now we can probably let go in a minute and um, what we'll be able to do is dry this through. So I've got the same air dryer that Tracy uses, um, which is the Babyliss. I can't remember the name of it, but I'll put a, a link to that. Obviously, I'm not affiliated to Babyliss. I'm not affiliated to Lavinia Stamps either, so I'm not getting paid for this, guys. But... Um, you know, I just like the product, so Ooh. try not to move it, which I just did, which was a bit silly. So I'm just going to try and lay that back on. And so I've got the cool air dryer, and what I'm going to do, so actually I'm just going to leave it lying on there, guys, it's fine. It's too complicated trying to tilt it. So I'm just going back in. And I'm trying not to go up to that bit that's kind of got the flat line because I don't want it to look um, like, you know, that's the case. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to dry it. Now, this dryer is really powerful. I had bad experiences with this last time in terms of it going everywhere. So I'm going to do it at a distance. See what I mean? Blows off and everywhere. So I'm adding some monsoon, red one, and I'm just going to go over some areas of the stencil again, because I want a nice blend of colours, and then I'm going to go in with my blending solution. So obviously this is going to get alcohol ink on your stencil, guys, it's just inevitable, but it will clean off with a bit of, um, if you're in the UK, a bit of white spirit. Or a bit of isopropyl, like rubbing alcohol in other places. So, or, well, if you're like me, I quite like my stencils to have ink on them. Um, obviously, if you're going to use alcohol ink again, you probably want to clean it off a bit because it will reactivate when you put alcohol in it. So you might get some of those colours through again. But I actually quite like that. I think that can look quite nice. But if you're using things that aren't haven't got alcohol in them, then you'd be absolutely fine. So I'm just going to dry that again. That's starting to look a pretty colour now. Like I say, keep a distance. And then it's going to move it around slightly. Obviously, you're getting a bit of that liney effect there, so we'll have to sort that out. So, I'm liking the way this green is creeping in actually because it does remind me of a bit of forest. Um, what I'm going to do is continue it up here. And I'm going to whiz this on now guys and put a bit of a soundtrack to it so you can watch what I'm doing. But you've got the general idea of uh, what technique we're using now.
Okay, so while I was editing this, I noticed the end, that the end of my video glitches, so I wasn't able to salvage the first um, alcohol lifting pull onto the multifarious card, but luckily I did decide to do a second pull from the same piece of UPO card. So we actually got two pulls, so two prints that we've taken from it, and I've got the second one that I show you, so you'll still be able to see the process. What I just wanted to try, guys, was because obviously this still looks really nice, doesn't it? Um, like this. So I'm going to try another pull. I'm just going to brayer off my um, this because that's just going to go everywhere on it. So yeah, make sure you brayer off. That's quite a nice starting piece for a collage. Okay, and we're going to put the lift ink on again. Pull that down. This is going to be a lot lighter this time. Okay, careful not to get the lines in the middle. Lay okay, it on again. And it should just give us a really nice, subtle print, I'm hoping. Yes, look at that one. So we've got the two, the two side by side. There we go. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Really happy with those two guys. So um, I hope that's helped you with your alcoholic backgrounds. Obviously, we could turn one around that way if we wanted to. You know, it's um, entirely up to you. How are you gonna? How you would stamp it, but. What I'll do is I will film my stamping this time, just in case you want to watch that. This is for Ukraine then, um, for all the Ukrainian people that are struggling at the moment. I hope, um, obviously they won't necessarily be seen at all at the moment, but I hope this artwork, you know, goes out there into the world and shows that people do care and that we don't agree with what's happening. Okay, so... Um, God bless to everyone out there, you know know that we're thinking about you and we're hoping that you're going to come through this okay all right then guys so um if you did like this video please do uh, give it a like also here is my profile picture that um will take you through to subscribe to the channel if you hit the bell and all notifications that will let you know whenever i've got a new video coming out and bottom left there is another video that i think you might be interested in so please do go check that one out have a good week crafting guys, um, take care of yourselves, be kind, um, put lots of love out into the world and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye for now.